guys! Welcome to Abi B Blog. Our today's episode is about exponential notation or so-called exponent. Before we start, be sure you have with you your pen and paper so that you can have your jot down notes. By the way, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and share our video so that you will be notified once a new video is uploaded. Exponent, exponential notation, is a shorthand way to show how many times a number, called the base, is to be multiplied to itself. A, M. A stands or represents as base, and M for the exponent. To start with, let's have a little sum or some example. We write the following given in exponential notation. So we're going to rewrite it to exponential notation. So 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to write the base, which is 2. Then we have 6 as the exponent because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, that is 6. Okay? So, <clears throat> I will put the numbers so that you will identify how do, did I get the exponent. So, I count it and then that's 6. Okay? Then we have 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 2. So, we write the base 3 and then 2, 4, so, 2, 2, you, we add 2, 2. That's the 2, 2. Okay, so 2, 4, 6, 8. So, that's why that is 8 here. So, 3 to the 8 power. Okay, so this is 3 to the 8 power. Okay, then we have C, negative 2, C, negative 2, C, negative 2. So, we write the base, C, negative 2. Negative 2 plus negative 2, plus negative 2, that's negative 6. Okay, then we have 3, at uh, 2 over 5, close and open parenthesis, 3. Multiplication. When multiplying powers with the same base, copy the base, then add the exponent. Laws of exponents Multiplication AM times AN is equal to AMN or M plus N. So this is our equation. So example number 1. A squared times A to the cube is equal to So A copy the base and then 2 plus 3. So we have 2 plus 3. Then, the final answer, a to the fifth power. So, that's our final answer. Number 2, so, 2 to the second, 2 squared times 2 to the cube. So, we have 2, 2 plus 3. So, that's 2 to the fifth power. Then, we have x squared times x to the fourth. So, we have x2 plus 4. So, that's x to the 6th power. So, this is for the multiplication. Now, let's go to division. When dividing powers with the same base, copy the base, then subtract the exponent. So, we have the division. So, am over an is equal to a m minus n. So, this is our equation for division. Example number 1, we have a to the 5th over a to the 2nd. So, that is a, then 5 minus 2. So, we subtract the exponent, that is 3. So, a to the 3rd power. For the second equation, we have 4 to the 5th over 4 to the 2nd. 
So, 4 to the 5th minus, 5 minus 2, that is 4 to the 3rd power. Okay. Now, let's have another, uh, so we have here 64 to simplify the 4 to the 3rd power. Okay. Now, let's go to another example for the division of exponent. So, we have a to the 3 over a to the 3. So, this is 3 minus 3. So, that's a to the 0 power. So, then the answer is 1. Because if the exponent is 0, automatically the answer is 1. No? So, base to the 0 power, that's 1. Don't forget that. Second, uh, For the fourth problem, we have a to the cube over a to the negative 5. So, we have 2 to the 3 minus negative 5. So, we change the sign of the negative 5 to positive. So, then we have 3 plus 5. So, that is now 2 to the 8th power. Okay? So, that's the uh, answer of the 2 to the 8th power. Then, we multiply the 2 to the 8th power. That's 256. Negative exponent. A non-zero base raised to negative exponent is equal to the reciprocal of the base raised to the positive exponent. Negative exponent. So, a to the negative m is equal to 1 over a then to the m power. It could be written also as 1 over a to the m power. So, we have a to the negative 3. Then we have 1 over a to the 3. Okay. Then we have 4 cubed minus to the 5th. So 4, ma 4 with the power of 3 minus 5, that is 4 to the negative 2. Then that is... 4, 1 over 4 over 2 and it could be written as 1 over 16 also now let's have our example rewrite the following as a single exponent number 1 x to the negative 3 x to the 8 closing up in parentheses squared so we multiply these two squared first so negative 3 times 2 that's negative 6 so, 8 times 2, that is 16. Okay? So, we are now in multiplication. So, we add. Then, we don't have, we have different uh, exponent. So, that's 10. So, we add it. So, x equal to, x equal to 10. Okay, that's x equal to 10. Because we have negative 6 plus 16, that's 10. So, we copy lang the base and then 10. So, 3 r squared, r to the 4th and r to the 5th. Then, we have cube. So, we have 3, 3, r, so t 2 times, 2 times 3, that's 6. r, 4 times 3, that's 12. So, then we have r... 5 times 3, that's 15. Okay, so we add all the R's. So, 16 plus 12. Now, this is, uh, we uh, we multiply first the base, no? So, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. So, 6 times 12, that is, uh, 6 plus 12, that's 18. Plus 15, that is 33. Okay, so R is 33. So, we simply add the exponent. Okay, so that's 33. 12 plus 6 plus 15. So, we have 18 plus 15, that's 33. So, we do this so that we can check if the exponent is correct. 
okay so we just simply double check the exponent okay now let's have sample number 3 m to the 4 times m multiply uh, closing up in parentheses to the fifth so m to the 4 times 5 that's 20 m times 5 so we simply add it then m is equal to 25 so that's the number 3 okay so now let's go to number 4 so I'll erase this one huh? so let's have number 4 so a to the 7 power over y to the 7 power then negative 1 raised to negative 1 so in this case we'll be having x to the 7 over y to the 7 so we get the reciprocal no? we use the reciprocal here because there's a 1 as numerator so then we'll be having y to the 7 over x to the 7 so that's the answer for number 4 okay okay so that is the number 4 to number 5 we have z to the 0 z to the 5th over z to the negative 4 then we have the denominator c to the 3 and then z to the 6 then we have the, the third power so we multiply everything here c to the 0 times 3 that's c to the 0 okay then 5 times 3 that is 15 c to the 15 then we have negative 4 z to the negative 4 times 3 that's negative 12 then z to the 3 times c to the 3 okay that is c to the 9 then z to the 6 times 3 that is z to the 18 so we have c to the 18 then we'll be having so multiply 15 so 15 plus 12 that is 3 c to the 3 okay over so 9 plus 18 so that is 20, c to the 27 okay so that's the answer Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and share our video. Bye-bye. Hope to see you for the next episode.